Joining me here at Edgar Street is Josh Gowning. Terrific cup tie. Uh, what did you make of it overall? Yeah, it was. Uh, really disappointed. Um, I thought we could have got some out of the game. We should have got some out of the game, apart from the two set plays, but goals change games and the delivery, the quality they've got from deliveries as well, obviously changed games. And I thought the first half, I thought we were excellent. We worked hard, but then there's one mistake in the first half and it cost you a goal and that's, that's the levels. It's so hard, wasn't it, once Portsmouth got controlled in midfield, I thought? Yeah, I mean, the way they play, they move the ball. The, the, the thing is, they, they play 4 4 2, but it, it's not really. The wide players roll in, one of the strikers come short, so they overload midfield areas to get it wide. So, you know, we just wanted to compact the middle as much as possible and force them wide, so then we could cut off some of the passing lane. So, and I thought we did that well, majority, you know, majority of the game. They didn't really have many shots for the keeper to save, did they? Like we normally play like. But obviously, again, two set players, I don't think we've conceded directly from a set play all season. So to come here and be undone by that is disappointing. Obviously Miles' story took his goal really well and uh, I felt that that was a real chance for Harry with, with the pace of defenders didn't like it if the ball was delivered in the right place. Yeah, 100%. But then we've done what we probably did at the start of the season which was implode a little bit and you know we've got the ball in the middle part give it away when we need to move the ball quickly and you play against the league one side and you give the ball away there and they break they're going to score and that's what they did. So that's disappointing because I think we've been securing the ball better lately and then to because the goal with a turnover like that was disappointing because I just thought we were in the ascendancy. They looked nervous. We looked like we were on top. We looked like we were going to go on and win the game. And then obviously you give them a leg in the game, a little leg up, you give them a lift and then you can see their performance raise after that. And it's movement off the ball. I thought Portsmouth were especially good at that. They're in League One, aren't they? <laughs> is, that, is that down to full-time training, maybe? No, I just... Well, yes, obviously, because obviously they work on it. Look, I know what the Cali brothers do. I know how much they work, how many meticulous they are. But yeah, they have them every day and they're League One players. So they're playing three leagues above us. So the quality is vastly different. You know, if you look at that game compared to the Fylde game, because they're similar in the terms of patterns, we just sat it up and dealt with it, didn't we? Whereas obviously at this level, they move the ball just, that the ball speed is that much quicker and it's sometimes hard to shift across the pitch. Did you take things from Portsmouth maybe, their performance out there? Did you, did you learn from in a game like this? Yeah, of course we do. That's what I said to the lads there, we got Kevin away on Tuesday night. So learn from that. Learn, you've got to get in position early. You, you don't have a minute. You know, you look at the first goal, we've not stood across the pitch when it's gone, when the cross has come in. Just little things like that. At our level, it probably goes out for a goal kick or he heads it and it goes into the keeper. This level, he nods it down and they score. So it's just understanding those little finer details to get to the next level. And, and we will do that. We will. I mean, I, I, that's going to give you a little bit of finance and the background as a club. It's built the, 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 the sort of position of the club across the country. They. Yeah, Hereford is known a little bit more again now. Is that going to give you a lift? Can, can that be you? What I'm saying is, can you use that to, to good effect in the next few months to come? What, the, the buzz or the money? The, the buzz, <laughs> the money, both really. <laughs> um, look, yeah, I mean, it's, it's experience, isn't it? And if you look at when we got to Wembley and the buzz it got at the place, and, and obviously we didn't win the Wembley final, but the next year we improved. So for me, we've got to take a lot of from that. We've got to take a lot from the buzz of the place. People will be watching us more and we've got to keep improving and use that experience. Look, we've got some experienced players in there, but we've got some young players that have never played a game like that before. So I'm hoping that over the next you know, couple of weeks, couple of months to the rest of the season that we um, develop and improve. Because back-to-back victories in the National League North, you know, you've got to utilise this now to, to make sure you catch up that top seven. Yeah, 100%. Like we're, what, we're three points out of the, the, the playoff places, so and we're, we're on a good run at the moment. So we've just got to keep improving, keep you know, working hard. Look, we've got a great bunch of lads there and you can see that tonight. You know, if you look at the first half, you were tuning in in the first half, you wouldn't know there was a League One team in National League North side, would you? So, and that is the levels. They can play out that for 90 minutes, whereas us, at our level, we probably can't sustain that long enough. So, but yeah, we just got to use it as a, as a platform, as confidence. You know, the lads are gutted in there, which is pleasing to me as a manager, thinking that they're gutted to lose against a League One side and, and we've just got to kick on. Uh, I suppose it would be encouraging to you to see the number of supporters that were actually and the interest being generated in this game. I know it's an FA Cup tie, but it just shows that there is interest out there. Yeah, uh, hey, our fans are absolutely fantastic. But I think the most pleasing thing for me was in the second half, after the second half, we were under the cosh and they started singing and chanting to try and get us going again. And, and that's what you you know that's what you want. You want to feed off that energy. Um, but I mean, I don't know how what the attendance was. I guess it was a sellout today, but absolutely unreal. Just under five thousand. Yeah, just absolutely unreal, wasn't it? So yeah, we want, I want. I'd love. I love to be, to be five thousand there every week. So turn on. <laughs> well, you never know. Hey, thanks very much, Josh. Yeah. Cheers, thank you. And when I, I, I come out early, I was come out early before, and I saw the banner and all that stuff. And and you know what? As a young man, you know, obviously I've heard about 
won his gold of course and obviously we recreated in training but sometimes you don't know what it means to the broader community and when he passed when you go on social media I mean all the football clubs you know obviously the FA Cup everything the, the tweets the messages you just realise what an absolute icon he was and what, how iconic that goal was so it was just um, you know just Nice to be a part of it. And how fitting that Miles Story were in number 11. I know. And he played against, uh, <laughs> and he played before, so yeah, yeah you know, you, I think when he, when, it, when he passed this week and obviously having the big game, you know, we wanted to do it for him and hopefully get the win for him, do you know what I mean? So it's disappointing that we haven't, of course, but just the turnout, you know, every, everyone celebrating him. I'm glad it wasn't a minute silence and I'm glad it was a, a minute applause yeah. because for me, you, you, you celebrate someone like that, you celebrate his life and, and I'm glad that we, we, we got the opportunity to celebrate him. And I think that was led by the supporters, wasn't it? It was, 100%, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They, they started clapping. Yeah. They know, obviously, the supporters here that know exactly what, what he means to this place and, you know, it was poignant that they, they clapped and we all clapped along with them. Brilliant stuff. Thanks very much.